But you'll probably recognize her face. The actress who played the sexy female Terminator is showing a more serious side. Take a look. America was built upon the concept of immigration, built by the hands of immigrants of every color, belief, culture. In the beginning, we turned back none. We needed them. We still do. Logan is the co-producer and star of Fighting for Freedom. She plays an attorney at a conservative law firm defending an immigrant family from deportation. This movie opens tomorrow at the Lamali NoHo 7 Theater in North Hollywood. And Kristana Logan here with us now to talk about this film. Quite a departure from the role that everyone knows you from, but why did you get interested in immigration and this story? Well, I grew up on a organic fruit farm in upstate New York. And um, we've employed various migrant workers since the time of its inception for 43 years. So the story is actually written by my father, Chris, oh, wow. who was inspired by uh, a family that he knew. So it's a migrant family from Mexico that has three children. The two oldest were born in Mexico or in the U.S., so they're citizens, and the youngest was born in Mexico when the father's mother was dying. So when they re-enter the U.S., the littlest girl at the age of two and a half faces deportation. Where is she going to go? She's two and a half. So my character is not only the farm owner's daughter, but has, she's become a high-powered D.C. attorney. So she ends up taking on the case of the immigrants and in doing so reuniting with her own family. And is this something that's been close to your heart? I mean, you grew up on a, on a fruit farm, so obviously you know this story from that side, but what made you want to make a movie about this? Well, we are a country of immigrants, and we've seen so much racism and hatred and fear and xenophobia and people keep looking at the differences between the immigrants and the quote unquote Americans but we truly are one and the same and I think if we start focusing on the similarities that we're human beings looking for a better opportunity in our life than the differences you'll see a lot of that racism and fear and hatred lessen so and a part of your production company, you want to make more films like this that kind of raise the conscious about these types of stories. Aside from immigration, what other issues do you hope to explore through film this way? Because it is a, a great medium to tell a story if it's something you're passionate about. Absolutely, and I think that's why we started Loken Man Productions, um, was to really highlight and underscore um, human, human plight and human traumas and tragedies. Um, Re working in the medium of television and film, we have this wonderful ability to educate people. So as much as I love doing the fantastical and action and sci-fi world, yeah. I really want to focus more on raising awareness. But you still do the sci-fi stuff. You still have roles in, in so many different shows. There are actually too many for me to go through and list. I'm reading all of your upcoming projects. Um, but you still enjoy that as well? Oh, absolutely, then, yeah. Because every, I mean, we were talking all day about all the, your famous scenes, and when you walked in, you all nearly looked like a superhero. You're so <laughs> tall to begin with. Yeah. So I can only imagine that you, you still do that as well. Yeah, for sure, for sure. I think my fat physicality um, lends itself very well to those types of roles. I am tall. 5'11". Unbelievable. Yes, <laughs> and outdoorsy and athletic, so that will always be um, definitely a part of my career, something that I like. All right, Kristana Loken, thanks so much. I want to let people know Fighting for Freedom opens tomorrow at the Lemily NoHo 7 Theater in North Hollywood. Jeff, Laura?